Hi there, I'm Rachel Teller, a grade 12 student at Fort Richmond Collegiate in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'll be attending the Direct Entry Agroecology program at the University of Manitoba in September. I chose this field of study because I, like many other youth today, want to be involved in creating a more sustainable food system on our planet and improving the environmental impact of the agriculture industry. Climate change will continue to affect food production, food availability, stability of food supplies, and access to food. On top of this, there will be an estimated 9 billion people in the world by 2050. The Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations estimates we will need a 70% increase in food production from the 2005 levels if we're to feed all those people. This stress on the agriculture industry means that it's important now, more than ever, for young, enthusiastic people to be joining this industry. In my career, I want to contribute to the development of crops that have the ability to cope with these changing circumstances, including temperature, soil pH levels, and rainfall. Producing these tolerant crops through plant biotechnology helps farmers increase yields by protecting crops that might otherwise be lost. More tolerant crops also means that they can be farmed in places that are less receptive to certain crop varieties, allowing for greater crop rotation and options to farmers. The 2014 Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report projected that without adaptation, global crop yields are likely to decline by at least 5% by 2050. This is without adaptation, which is why in my career I would like to help contribute to the creation of enhanced crop species, which would not only help the agriculture industry on its way to more sustainability, but also to help Canada feed the world's rapidly growing population. Hybridization of plants was first recorded about 10,000 years ago in Southwest Asia, where humans bred plants through artificial selection and selective breeding. As knowledge of the double helix and technological capabilities grew, so did our ability to create hybrids and genetically modify plants. GM crops are the fastest adopted crop technology in the history of modern agriculture, and it's for a good reason. Since their commercialization, these crops have benefited both the economy and the environment. Being able to select for and combine traits in plants has allowed for many things. The production of crops that better manage issues surrounding insects or weeds helps increase yields and expand crop potential. The production of more visually appealing and shelf-stable fruits and vegetables also helps reduce food waste. A 2014 statistic from the International Service for the Acquisition of Agrobiotech Applications shows that GM crops allowed an average increase in yield of 22% and an increase in farmers' profits by 68%. The innovative technology we've developed to genetically modify crops has allowed the agriculture industry to become what it is today, and it will continue to provide benefits economically and environmentally into the future as more research is done. Port Richmond Collegiate has a unique science program that provides numerous opportunities for students interested in science topics. FRC is the only school in Canada to be part of the International Science Schools Network, which hosts events like Bioinnovation Week, as well as participates in the International Student Science Fair. Bioinnovation Week is an annual event where students from the province and from all around the world get together over five days to learn about and discuss local and global science topics. FRC also has a unique course called Topics in Science that guides students through the process of creating a research project on any topic of their interest and provides them with assistance using lab equipment and our school's own plant chamber. Students can choose to take a project they've created either through this course, the Honors Science course, or on their own time, and present it to esteemed judges and Nobel laureates in places such as Singapore, Australia, England, and Japan through the ISSF program. I was fortunate enough to be able to attend the 2019 forum in Singapore, where I was able to hear the ideas of other young aspiring scientists from around the world and collaborate with them on an innovative project of our own, while also having the opportunity to be inspired by the Nobel laureates in science. Overall, FRC has a very strong science program, which has taught me and inspired me to pursue a degree in agroecology. I'm looking forward to learning how to contribute to innovations in plant science in my future.